Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful, beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. There you go. Um, I thought it's it's about time we, we start doing some, some fun stuff, right? We haven't been doing a lot of fun stuff lately. Um, meaning game... Uh, game state stuff right we've just been working on the editor making sure we can load and save maps all that stuff um but there isn't a way to collide with anything yet right there is no way to kind of make walls and stuff like that so we're, i thought we'd we'd do that so um, ironically where we have to start is kind of the editor state so we can we can put out some uh some colliding stuff but it's not going to be that difficult you know what i'm going to do is I'm going to go into editor state H and CPP here. And I'm just going to make a little red box that um, select a rectangle sidebar. All right, some GUI stuff. Uh, I'm just going to make a little SF rectangle shape um, collision. Box just collision. I'm just gonna call it collision box. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'm gonna initialize it. Initialize GUI right here. And what this box is gonna do is gonna be rendered um, everywhere where we're rendering tiles. Right. Basically, that is what I want to do. You know what we can do? Actually, we'll just copy this and we'll put it. Whoops! Whoa! 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 from before um, where are you god damn it there you go sorry about that there you go that's what I want to copy so I'm just gonna copy this into actually tile map yeah we could do this in tile map instead here and this is just kind of a debug thing render where's render probably at the bottom here okay render target all right uh tile map cpp tile map h so i'm just gonna put this in tile map h collision box and i'm gonna initialize that um all right collision tile map right here This is when I create the tile map. Uh, there you go. Okay, sorry about that. This collision box dot set size uh, SF vector 2F. And then we're going to make it the grid size. Grid size, grid size, a float, so we're good. All right, so it's the same size as a grid. And then this collision box dot set fill color, SF color. Um, and then we're gonna make it a little different. So 255, zero, zero. And then we're gonna make it really transparent, like 50. Uh, and then we're gonna just keep it like that, I think. Nothing special, size and a fill color. Um, And then render here. We're just gonna do this. All right. Like that. And this is just debug thing. So I'm gonna render that and then I'm gonna render this. Wait, uh, target dot draw this collision box. Okay, we can just comment this out when we're we're done and what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna do this collision box at set position um, Z all right cool so we're gonna have to get the position from a tile and this is important to see where we have collision because we're gonna be debugging that later and it'll be a pain in the butt to not get the position so we have the shape all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a const sf vector 2f uh, reference 
get position const and this I'm gonna just define that all this is gonna do is uh, accessors return this shape dot get position so it's just going to return that uh, r is what wait is what okay there we go all right so that there we go now we have a function that returns the position z get position very simple easy peasy no problems and we'll set the position and we'll render it where it should be and this is only going to happen well when we want it to right and this is only going to happen if z get collision okay so we got to make another goddamn function i'm sorry about that uh let me just open this up it'll be quick it'll be quick um i'm just going to copy this Put it down here instead of the SF vector 2F. I'm just going to say bool. And then get collision. Get collision. All right. Return this collision. And then copy the whole damn thing. Go to, go to tile.h and just paste that in there. And remove the tile part. Okay, so here you go. Now we can get the collision as well. Now hopefully it won't need to get anything else. Get collision. And if it is a collision, then we'll just render this out and set the position of it. Mm, and render it at each of these positions. Uh, otherwise it won't be rendered at all. So that's the beauty of it. So there you go. Let's run this and hopefully it won't crash at least there you go now we're gonna add some colliders so um, edit this is only in the game state so we can't see anything like that yet if we go to the editor and just say load let's say all of this shit here is a collider so to do collision what was that C okay see it's kind of reddish now so that's cool that's nice uh, I'm just gonna remove that collision there there you go and I'm gonna save this and quit new game and it's all reddish you see that it's reddish so that's the beauty of it so there you go so it's all reddish meaning I can collide with it and then if we implement the uh, collision that it, um, yeah we'll see we'll be able to debug it basically and that is what we want to do what else we what one more thing we could do is we could actually to make it a little more visible I'm just going to say this collision box that set outline color SF color red. Um, set thickness. Uh, so there you go. Now it'll be a little more visible. Do we have more time? We have a little more time. So that's good. That's really nice. Okay. All right. And then we're going to be working with a little more of the player stuff. We're going to be adding some more things to player. Um, this is just basic shit. But we need to be adding, uh, what do you call it, level and all that stuff. Now, we could make a component for it. We could call it like attribute component or something uh, where you have levels and stuff. And it will level and you can update it. Or we could just do it directly in player. That depends if you want other things to be able to level up like that. Um, if you want that to happen, basically. So uh, we're going to think about that a little bit. Uh, but what we could start off by doing is in tile map, we could just prepare for later. We'll make a little function here. Actually, these functions are pretty core. So I'm going to put it down here. I say bool. Hmm. Bool and then check for collision. So I'm going to actually get in a player. Or no, not void actually. Void. Void. 
check collision all right and then we can just actually have a entity pointer here all right entity and ent entity 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 all right uh with that that means we have to include load entity dot h hopefully that won't make any problems here class tile class entity forward declare shit right just like that do that wherever you can wherever you're using classes and stuff you could do that for all the uh sfml things as well to speed up compilation but there you go now we have an entity pointer so we can check collision or we should call it update collision so it will just take an entity and it will take some bounds around the entity so how much um how much of the tile map do you want to check against this entity so probably i want to do that but i'm just gonna go ahead and define that anyway should be defined down here update collision there you go all right and then we'll be able to check uh, around the entity so let's see here we're rendering the whole tile map we could also render around an entity so i could actually i could do that in render also we're going to prepare for that already okay so we're going to do a uh, entity pointer entity equals just set it to null all right just set it to null copy this and this will make sure that if it's null we will not uh, render around the entity but if it is or if it is null we won't render around the entity if it is not null then we'll do that so we'll, we'll uh, remove unnecessary tiles and also same thing for the collision so yeah there you go there you go guys and girls i think that's it for this video at least we're preparing for the collision stuff um and we'll go ahead and work with that probably in the next video also i'm going to try to work on the player like i said with all the attributes and levels and leveling up and all those things uh, so it's gonna be fun. Let's do some fun stuff now for a while and then we'll go back to settings and editor and all that thing All that stuff when we when we get tired of this shit uh, So there you go. Thanks for sticking with me. Keep working hard And if you have any questions, please ask me on discord or through here I haven't been answering a lot of questions lately because I've had some stuff to do but uh, I really appreciate everyone watching and And yeah, I'll get back to your emails and all your stuff as soon as I can. All right, but thank you again Take care and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye